What's going on, everybody? Make sure to hit the subscribe, drop a comment, turn the notification on, and all that good stuff. All right, so today let's talk about something I've been watching in movies, and this kind of uh, kind of sucks when it comes to it, but the problem with Hollywood is that all these reboots and all these movies nowadays, they all, they all have one thing in common. Um, and it's kind of just, well, yeah, it sucks, but besides the continuity that they're always changing actors, actresses, and the people that we're already used to being on screen, you know, watching and all that stuff. What do I mean? All right. I was watching, re-watching uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. All right. Good movie. Um, the only thing I have a problem and the same with a lot of movies is that they always recast new people for it. And it sucks because, you know, they've done it in a lot of movies. They've done it in The Dark Knight. Um, when they replaced uh, Katie with that other girl, oh, I forgot her name. But you know, when you have movies and you don't have the same people playing the character anymore, I just lose interest. You know, like it, it just doesn't get my attention anymore. I, I want to see the same cast and all these, you know, movies that are coming up, or you know, the, if, they're, if they're releasing another movie for it or whatnot. And you know, it's just one. It keeps the continuity flowing, and like it just gets my attention much more because I'm more interested in investing, you know, time in that character that's already been established, you know, and and it just continues. It's just it's just more more flavor with the movie, I guess. And it sucks that they're always constantly doing that in all these movies and they just don't lock the actors and the actresses in one contract and say, "Hey, look, we're going to work on multiple projects and we want you to stay, you know, the face of this character, you know, and Marvel has done it also recently, you know, and I get it. The actors and actresses, they also want to play other, you know, other characters and other roles and other movies and stuff. But if you're going to dedicate yourself to one project, continue with it and finish with it, you know, because it, it just sucks. You know, when Marvel did it with Captain America, you know, now they passed the, you know, the, the character to somebody new. Um, I, I don't like that. I really don't. If, if you're just going to do that, just, you know, get a different version of the character, not the same one that we're already used to and say, hey, this is the new one, you know, just to like force us to accept the, the next, you know, face that's going to replace whoever it is. And then down the road, they want to bring in that same one that we already have. And then they create a even shittier, you know, like if you want to call multiverse of the same character and whatnot. So, you know, it kind of sucks. And that's why I say it's it's nice when we have the continuity going with the same cast onto whatever next future films that are you know gonna come out. Um, that's another thing too. You know the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, what's his name? Andrew Garfield, amazing, amazing. That that dude is he's awesome as Spider-Man. You know and you know when when they say hey look we're gonna redo and reboot Spider-Man. And then they brought in Tom Holland. I was never a fan of him. I'm, I'm still not a fan of him. He just doesn't convince me, you know, as an actor. And, and he just doesn't do it for me. But um, then they want to go ahead and do... What is the one that we had? Uh, no Way Home. And then they bring all three Spider-Men. You know, it's like, okay, that's cool. I like how they did that. But at the same time, it's like, why didn't you just continue with, with Andrew Garfield and do The Amazing Spider-Man 3, you know? And that's another thing, too. Um... But at the same time, it's just like, why are they doing this? Just continue the same character. And then not only they continue with the same character and they're not doing that, is that they're also getting younger characters. Like, for example, Transformers, uh, what was that? I think it's The, the Last Night. Um, they get this young girl to play a badass character. You know, she could. she's friends with uh, that little robot that she had and... You know, where, where she finds Bumblebee in the junkyard or whatever, something like that. And then the same thing, what they did with Pacific Rim Uprising. They brought this new young girl actress, you know, to do these roles of, like, characters where it's like, yo, that, that should have been to the to the, to the the Asian girl that she she was in the first one of uh, Pacific Rim. I think M Mako, I, I think that was her name. I can't remember right now. But, um, but then on this film, they, they kill her off, you know, and it's like, why would you do that? And it's been so long that where's Pacific Rim 3, you know, and to be honest with you, I'm a fan 
of movies with giant robots and they're always fighting and, and all that stuff you know besides superheroes it's always fun to see something new and different especially with something that's not the same that's just you know rinse and repeat like marvel and dc that's why i like these movies of transformers and you know giant robots and all that stuff because it's just it's just badass it's cool you know it's it's, it's just not the superhero stuff that that's already like i'm, I'm already a little fatigued about that and that's why with these movies what they need to do is just keep the continuity going you know that's the same thing they change optimus prime and the lot was the last night that they changed his gear from the previous film and it just doesn't connect like they don't explain what happens why does he have different gear i don't know that's just you know some of my thoughts that i was like watching the movie i said let me just talk about it share it with y'all see what some of your opinions about all that you know what do you think I don't know, it's just, it just seems that all these reboots and, you know, they take too long to make a third film or a second film, then they want to spend like 20 years and then we have another new film of what we should have got like, you know, continuously years ago. But yeah, it is what it is. And as always, drop your comments, drop your thoughts, make sure to turn the notification on and all that good stuff. And as always, till next time.